Hello everyone and welcome to another Remnant 2 video. Before we get started today, I just want to thank everyone for their continued support um, over the last few weeks or whatever during Remnant 2. It's been great. I can't thank you enough. But in today's video, we are going over the Unsullied Heart, which you're seeing here on screen now. This is a really cool heart, pretty long quest line, but it gives you 100% of your heal almost instantly. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So we are in the Lawson District in the Palace starting area. And what we need to do is we need to get the two rings that you're seeing on sc screen now, the Fey Rin Sigil and the Fey Lin Sigil. Now this references the two um, light and dark kings that you fight at the end of the world. For each ring, you will need to first talk to one of the kings, either the light or the dark, and then defeat the opposite one and then go back and talk to that king. So on screen now, I'm gonna walk you through how I did it from the light side, or from, sorry, from the dark side, I talked to the dark king, I defeat the light king, and I go back and talk to the dark king. This is the same that happens when you talk to the light king first, and then you defeat the dark king, and then you go back to the light king. So as you see on screen now, I am walking in, um, I'm not gonna make you watch a full loading screen, but, I'm walking in, we're gonna go right straight up to the king. Once you're at the king, you're gonna enter into his dialogue. He thinks very highly of himself. You are but a mouse, as he tells you in his eyes. So I'm gonna kinda let this play out so you can see the decisions I made, but you need to agree to go kill what he thinks is the imposter to his throne. So we're talking to the dark one right now, so he thinks the light king is the imposter to his throne so we're, we're here we're listening to him you know i'm a pathetic little creature thank you very much i'm saying i'm a human i'm from earth right we, we want to stay humble we want to stay humble in his presence we don't want to enter into any fight with him at any point we're going to continue to let this play out um, I know this probably isn't the most um, engaging thing to watch, um, but I want to make sure you see the choices that I make. I'm just exploring, right? You don't want to aggravate him in any way because you don't want to enter into a fight with him. So we're going to continue on, right? Yeah, see, even a mouse could not have done so without some skill at fighting. Thank you very much. I appreciate your support. Um, there's one that plays me, an imposter. You can see him there. He's kind of telling you about Fei Lin, the light uh, king at this point. So he is Fei Rin. You are going, the Fei Rin with the R is the dark. Fei Lin with the L is the light. So just if that's confusing, I'm really sorry. Um, I, th I feel like the game did this to on to did this to us on purpose but we'll just continue to listen to him continue to make our selections and then you're going to tell him that you're going to go kill uh the light king see kill him and you should be greatly awarded right do not challenge him right now um you can just go down and say i, I think i'm going to be going now you're going to exit and go right back out to the mural here and you're going to switch this mural around to the light side all right, so you pull the lever, and you can see it turning. It goes to the light. You'll get a little bit of a loading screen. Again, I'm not going to make you watch the loading screen. We're going to come in, and we're going to enter into battle with the Light King. Okay? Once we're here, you can go straight into fight. You don't need to listen to him bramble on or anything. Skip through this if you want, whatever. You know, the court of Phelan, whatever. Yes, I know. I'm a meager mortal. Thank you for telling me. Um, you can go straight into fight with him. Once you've defeated him, you get a really cool animation with the sword plunging through him. I really like that a lot. Um, you do get um, weapons for killing each guy. Those are different videos. But you do will get a weapon for killing the light one. And for killing the gold one, you get two separate weapons, which is really cool. Um, you get from the light, you get the deceit. From the dark, you get his uh, his sword. Um, I can't remember what it's called. But you do get weapons, so this is a nice little guide for that as well. You Once you defeat him, go back, spin that mural again. Go back, talk to the dark king, Fade Rin, Fade Rin. And 
you're going to continue. He's going to give you some dialogue, and then he's going to award you with one of the sigils. You can see on the screen now, Feyrin's sigil. The same exact thing, as I said before, can be done. You Reroll your world, start with the palace, speed run that thing, go all to, all to the exclamation points, don't bother with anything else, just do what you got to do. Come in, talk to the Light King, Fei Lin, defeat Fei Rin, the Dark King, and then go back and talk to Fei Lin, the Light King, just as we did before, just vice versa, opposites, right? So you can see now we're spinning that dial. We're going to go back in, talk to Fei Lin, and we, we get Fei Lin's sigil here. Once you have both sigils, it is time to go to Nimue. Once you're at Nimue, you can craft your next item that you need for this quest. And so we're going to talk to her. Again, this might be the first time that you've seen her now. Um, so skip through this as quick as possible. And be sure to check out that middle um, doorway in the elevator just off the library. That's usually where she is. Um, I have that in other videos, so I didn't show it here. Um, you're going to... Go right into our crafting menu and you can see on now screen on on screen now i'm sorry one true king sigil this is what we need but notice it takes the Feylin sigil and the Feyrin's sigil from you so if you want those rings you're gonna have to go back out and get them if you want the sigil so in the sigil does increase mod damage by 20 percent and enhances the effect of Feyrin's sigil and Feylin's sigil by 50 percent per sigil equip so it does make those rings even more powerful but you do lose them when you craft the 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 amulet here so once you have that amulet you can go back to Lawson. we're going to go back to the palace courtyard right and we're here at the courtyard now what you need to do is equip the sigil or the amulet that you just got so equip the one true king sigil and walk up to this statue this statue will open up and reveal your unsullied heart. And that's it. You've got it. Um, you can see on screen now it's going to give you 100% of your healing essentially in 0 0.5 seconds, which is really quick. You don't have that four-second uh, damage uh, reduction like the Void Heart gives you. But if this video helps you all, um, please consider dropping a like and subscribing for more content from myself. And I thank you all very much for the support over the last few weeks. It has all been tremendous. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.